is happening. You know, the... <laughs> you know uh, before they start, you know what's actually really cool though? What's up? The Patrick show is technically in a different universe. What? Wait. Yeah, it, it, they like, there's like theory crafting to it. Oh, that's cool. It's okay. like in a multiverse. But yeah, PK, Chris, and Suarez, um, the static team mm -hmm. in Long Island. Chris forces Suarez to team now. Chris and, forces Suarez to team. And Milky and Ray, static team right here. So we, we got two statics right here, like double magnet. Mm -hmm. This is why they were seated to play against each other. It's like it's like magnets. They pull each other together. That's very poetic of you. Thanks. I, you. I, I, I had to reach for that a bit. I had but. to reach <laughs> for that a little bit. Did you stretch beforehand? Yeah, I, I did stre or stretch. He, but he played like a few rounds ago. Ammo. <laughs> oh, you're funny. But right now, Brett team ha having a lot of like percentage on them. I mean, it's just that Suarez and PK Chris are so good at, e at both at singles and like they they clearly team together often. Yeah. And I think both of these characters are fantastic in doubles. Yeah, they really are. Because both of them can can be both long range. They can be ranged and do melee. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, and they both can fulfill each other role. They, they can be support. They can be um, aggro. Exactly. And so they can just switch it up in a dime. But both of these players are aggro players. Mm -hmm. So you're Whereas, gonna see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Whereas, like, Palu is more support or more laid back. And Robin needs, like, time to charge. So she can be aggro, but definitely not one of the best ones suited for it. Yeah, this team, this matchup might be a little bit more skewed towards um, Ness and Suarez. Yeah. Well, I just said Ness and Suarez. We get Chris and Suarez. No, it ain't Yoshi anymore. It's Suarez. It's Suarez. <laughs> <laughs> no Yoshi's new name. He's Suarez. But yeah, right now, I mean, Suarez keeping on that onto that stop, making sure he's. Oh, I lied. He got this, yeah, you know, no, up there it, to it existence. Interrupting PK, PK Thunder. Yeah. Pretty it, good move. But it seems like their goal is just to bully Milk mm -hmm. Team. Essentially. Poor Mochi. I mean, they're not letting. They have you have to not let Robin charge up anything. Can't get, let her get no Sprout. You can't let her get like uh, yeah, Arc we, Thunder, we can't let her Arc breathe. Fire. You like, can't. Like the second she you hear breath, like ha, we gotta. You have to catch her because uh, Mochi has some setups that she does that does like take out stocks. Because she did one earlier against I believe Suarez or no, it was PK Chris where she baited him with Arc Fire and then during Shield she just broke and she just uh you know took out his stock. So she has some good setups that they need to avoid, but yeah. you know it's, it's gonna be avoided because there goes her last stock. Yeah, now Ray, it's just Ray, getting juggled. Oh no, he is literally caught between both these characters in the air. I'm just, yeah. just not safe for Paolo at all. Some people call it a rock in a hard place. Just the, which one's the rock? Which one's the hard place? Uh, whoever's named Dwayne. Whoever's <laughs> named Dwayne. <laughs> I mean, he's doing a really good job of trying to, you know, keep himself a good distance away from both the players, and uh, making sure that he's able to just slightly maneuver himself away from their uh, their zones and avoiding their dash attacks, like Suarez's yeah. dash attack right there. So hopefully he can take out. Maybe if he takes out PK Chris's stock, he can definitely take this back. Yeah, no, definitely can. And he's playing this fantastic. Mm -hmm. He's definitely like feeling like, yo, I'm the better player than both of you guys combined. <laughs> it's just me. Oh, oh maybe, my... maybe not combined. No, good match. <gasps> oh. Oh, just miss grabbing and taking out his uh, his uh, his teammate. All right, let's see the comeback. Okay. Oh yeah, Ness is gonna definitely take it. And the closeout. I mean, that was really good. Like, I'll I'll definitely give props where it's due. Utopian Ray was able to you know really maneuver around his opponents and rack and even take out a stock at some point. Um, but it's just so difficult with two players that just know their character and know and like are seasoned together as teams. Yeah, no, definitely would be really difficult. And I'm glad that we're getting to see the doubles, like how, at Xeno, on like how Chris and Ray, well, not Chris, Chris and Suarez will do in, in general, because they team a lot, mm -hmm. as I said before. But you don't see them that, op that often travel. They are traveling a bit more, and it's great to see like how they do the stat fair against other teams. So I, they, they're kind of my favorites. Oh. Oh, she got hit, barely got hit to grab. Yeah. That's disgusting. It's but gross. yeah, I just really want to see how they're my favorites to win. Mm -hmm. I and I really want to see how they progress throughout the bracket. And yeah, it looks I like we're going go to Cal. Yeah, also bigger stage. I think this is great for Robin and Palu. Hopefully, they'll use the platforms to their advantage and kind of use it as a way one for Robin to charge up everything that she needs, 
and for you to be ready to kind of use it as a way to gauge the situation at the hand and see how he can help by either being support or going in and racking up a lot of damage for his teammate to take it out for them. Yeah. Okay, double up here. <laughs> and Ray just, every time Milkshi throws out attack, Ray just knows to shield. <laughs> I mean, it's smart. You, you have to against, uh, you know, Robin's, uh, her, like, arc fire and, and all that, and her arc thunder. Yeah. Fortunately, Ray tried to grab as Chris as a oh punish, and he can't be doing that. No, oh, she already drop. getting out at already her first stock. Yeah. And uh, Ray, so, same with Ray. Thunder. He can actually a, legal, a lethal attack. You just have to avoid it as much as you can. Yeah, it, it gets really hard. It gets so difficult. Because sometimes there's, like, setups into it. Mm -hmm. But that one, that, that one was on Ray. <laughs> okay, using Elwin in order to get Suarez a little bit back off the stage and use that to advantage to so take out Suarez's yeah, first stock. Let's go! Yeah, and, all right, and Chris almost lost the stock right there, but I'm glad to, we're seeing more um, throws into Up Smash from Ray. I definitely want to see that a lot more because mm -hmm. Up Smash is a great tool for even racking up damage and just ending stocks. Like, if you can't reach them, any throw would hit Pilot Up Smash. Yeah. You know how big that is? It's huge. Humongous. All right, back throw. Not going to do much. Oh, I think they're getting ready for maybe a explosive flame or something to keep Suarez yeah. at bay. Like I interrupted. Yeah, but unfortunately, Suarez with a great patience on the on the read of the recover of the come back on the ledge. Yeah, and they both went out to hit Ray. And Chris losing his first stock. Suarez almost dying right there, but fantastic DI. Mm -hmm. Red team both at one at their first stock, both around you know the same percentage, and blue team sold with their second stock. So Pinky Chris only at eleven percent. They really have to focus on him right now because he's kind of racking up a lot of damage with um, all of his PK, like, PK fire and PK all the PKs. Uh, PK thunder, PK, PK thunder fire, fire, PK rocket, PK breathe, PK eat, PK sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be nasty if you had PK oh. sleep. And Rage is getting hit by these PK Thunder 2s. And just chilling. Yoshi. Yeah. No, they, they have to take out Swords a second stock as yeah. much as they can, as quickly as they can, yeah. really. They need to clean this up because mm -hmm. it is not looking good for them. They're about to see a loser's bracket really quick at this rate. Come on, right now yeah. we have. Okay. There goes Milchi's first. Oh, no, not Milchi. That was, that was, that was Ray. Ray. It's just Milchi right now. Oh yeah, she hasn't. We, we should do oh, they're, yeah. they're setting it up. <gasps> That's think, how you know they're teaming. They're thinking. <laughs> the fact that like. That's how you know that they they team up often because yeah. they have those setups for each other, not just for their own character, but literally like grabbing and then forward throwing into like Yoshi. Uh, I was mad. Year gross. Yeah. That was great positioning. Yeah, they had all the time in the world for this yeah. actually. <laughs> they did. Yeah. And for to recognize that also is a, is a skill of in and of itself. Yeah. Damn, yeah. I know. I know. Mochi was like, "Oh, I'm about to get thrown into oblivion." Yeah. All right. So 